Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, and I give you the new steel mill. I actually hate these intros because I suck as a YouTuber, because... Oh, you guy who makes videos for YouTube, because um, I have uh, actually several things that probably might be more important in the steel mill in this case, but we will be, because I promised all of you guys from Monday I'm gonna present a new steel mill, you're gonna see a little bit more detailed review of the steel mill, not really review, presentation of the steel mill, but uh, th that's why I'm not gonna talk about it that much, but check out the video after this one, so 5 o'clock Irish time, that will be six o'clock central european time uh, i'm gonna be presenting the steel well it's gonna be a little bit more detailed it's gonna be mr topros's um the okay I'm, I'm obviously gonna have to find it because i reloaded the game and usually it's in the end it was in the end here but i'm gonna real quickly just show you what it is and we're gonna not talk about it now but i will talk about it in the future um when we actually... I have no idea where the hell this steel mill is. Um, it's Mr. Topros' uh, electric arc um, uh, steel mill that uses electricity to create steel. Um, it technically will not require a lot of coal, but it will because we're gonna... because it takes so much electricity that you, we're gonna have a big new uh, power plant. It's gonna be also modded one. Where the hell is this? Uh, right, 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 right. This is gonna be one of the most expensive buildings I ever built. I just gonna have to go through these icons here. Uh, this is this is gonna take forever. Uh, I believe because Mr. Topros's uh, mods are, uh, it should be alphabetically uh, aligned. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Let's just see here. And you don't know if it's under steel mill or is it under something else. And finally, we have it, electric arc furnace steel mill. This is the one. You can see the size, more or less, compared to the vanilla one. And yes, there's a, a huge, huge, enormous downside to this steel mill. Just a heads up on that. It's absolutely enormous downside is that uh, it costs so much. It requires 258 tons of electrical components to build, and uh, I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to afford this. Well, it, it costs, in order to build it automatically, it's going to cost 9 million rubles. 9 million rubles. And we're going to have to start importing steel and electrical components, because these are the two big things we're going to have for this one. Initially, I was hoping just to plonk it in here, just to have it somewhere. Uh, but looks like we're gonna have to have our construction office done at least one of them so we can level the area So let's focus on that just a little bit later because I'm expecting this one of these buildings to be constructed soon so we're gonna start with a couple of um, a Couple of things first Umut thanks academic Gorodok uh, Is the name of the suburbs of Novosibirsk, I believe and um, it's academic city uh, or or you uh, science city of it was even in soviet union but it is now in these days as well and we have some fun here i can see a lot of trains here backlogged but that's probably because this guy there we go it, it was just circumstance i'm hoping let's talk about trees a little bit um trees are kind of important part here so i wanted to talk about what happened in these three areas and i'm gonna do a little bit presentation this is mr s moore uh yeah sorry about uh uh, in some episodes we already talked about this, but I didn't explain in more details, so I will do now. So this is a wood cutting post. You can see the circles where which they are engulfing, and you can see here these little dips, uh, this this cleavage over here um, is uh, where the circles are ending for each one of these forestry stations. So it could it it's they're they're not overlapping, but. But previously I did construct a building in the middle here and it could have affected 
this, but if you saw how the circle was before we deforested, or if you go and look at it, the trees were randomly um, cut down. While they actually, in, um, in these forestry areas, they are cutting the trees down all the way to the limit. And you can see the limit here. Uh, probably it's best if you see it from above. You can see how far they go, and this is how far they can reach these uh, woodcutting posts. And this is exactly the, the, the loop or the location uh, that this covers. So they go all the way and we should see something similar over here, but we don't. Um, first of all, because we redesigned all of this and uh, uh, we replanted the trees and some of them are growing here without being affected. And I think what we should do here, I will leave this now for the rest of the well, probably even series, and let them cut all the trees down that they can cut. So there, I think there must be something in the trees in this area that they're not agreeing with this. So I think I'm going to leave it as it is and just see how they're going to react when all of these trees are grown, fully grown. It will this increase the capacity? Currently, we have felled trees transport in the forest. It's dropping down. It's not increasing. I was thinking that they are cutting it as it grows, but maybe they didn't even grow. It's not a problem, they will cut down the hell, the shit out of this place as soon as the trees grow, because five people here can collapse a lot of, a lot of trees. So, I'm expecting that these trees are going to be registered now that we replanted them, but uh, who knows, we'll see. Okay, um, I'm going to set up this... Um, Still imports right now. Still imports are important for us, and I'm gonna set it up right now uh, with uh, one. Uh, let's go like this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use this uh, distribution office here. We have a couple of open hull trucks here, and they're not. They don't look busy. So I'm gonna go and assign border. It's already assigned, and then we assign this one. That's perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is go to the uh, border crossing. Where is it? Uh, customs house. Import steel and go all the way down here and uh, deliver steel here. Why is there no steel? I don't know. Maybe because it's a different... Uh, maybe we have different steel distribution in this case. It doesn't seem like we have... Uh, and let's just check the Daniel Cargo Station 2, that's the one, and I need to set it up to import steel. Let them import the hell out of the steel, because we need a lot of steel to finish the product, uh, the constructions that we have at the moment. I don't mind uh, footing the bill, and uh, most of that stuff is not going to be even used for earning any money. We're going to rely on, on oil initially. Okay, that being said, uh, apologies to Mr. Stats. I didn't reply to his comment for a while. For a while, which is true. Why is this one is not moving? This guy is supposed to deliver cement over there, and that's because these two guys are not separated. So I'm gonna build a chain semaphore, uh, mix semaphores over here, one and two, and then second one, one and two. So this way, and then we need to remove uh, this semaphore and now this train should be able to go there because they're in separate lanes okay that's a little bit better at least i hope so and this is a um, looks looks quite interesting uh, mr stats yes sorry for not replying it was a busy day yesterday and today is in the morning i recorded the mod monday episode i wanted to record that one first because sometimes it takes a little bit less time sometimes more than an hour it takes me to record that 20 ish minute episode and now it's recorded and uploaded i need to edit the videos before this one is over it's one o'clock now when i'm recording this and this episode that i'm recording now needs to be out in less than three hours so <laughs> not many issues we can't really expect experience meant much issues because we need to um, get this one right. Sometimes I have issues recording because um, either there's issues editing, 99% of the cases I don't have any problems with either uh, YouTube or anybody else, so everything works perfectly fine, but uh, sometimes I have to re-record the episode and that's annoying. did it three or four times once, so... Anyway, uh, steel mill, it's not presented, uh, hopefully I'm gonna plonk it in here in soon, but uh, currently it's not presented, uh, we're gonna do a better job probably in the next episode. We have even bigger surprise than the, um, 
than the steel mill in this episode. Uh, we're gonna start with just finishing real quickly uh, what I wanted to say. Mr. Stats had a suggestion for uh, bus off, uh, bus stops next to the buildings that you're trying to cro uh, construct. This is a great idea. I love it. In the cities, you can use the the main city bus stop and construct this first, and then uh, set up the line so your uh, people are de delivered here and they can work on other areas around the city, whatever you decide to build. And same probably should be done here and this would speed up construction of this for unfortunately for us uh, the people here are not the problem it's the steel but if we had steel delivered earlier if we had enough steel we wouldn't have issues with people here uh, moving on the yes I will not be merging uh, railroad transport public railroad transport with uh, these um, uh, let's call it um, industrial railroad lines. I'm gonna be building separate ones. Um, so we're gonna have separate line uh, connecting this city with steel city. Um, oh, by the way, this steel mill that we're gonna construct it requires 1650 people to work at 100% capacity. So that's gonna be huge city that's gonna be constructed over here. We'll see how that's gonna go, but in later episodes. Now we would like to go for uh, just finish whatever we have uh, finished here. So uh, bad placement of the construction offices and potentially I will build bridge here and I'll, I'll, I'll do something about it. I'll try to do a good work here and um, better connect this because traffic that's going to be going out of these construction offices is going to affect our traffic here. Um, it can easily be avoided by leaving these construction offices here and then constructing new ones around here on this side of the railroad. That's potentially a good idea, but we'll see how that's going to go. Um, and that's it. That's it concerning this topic. Um, explain the helicopter fire what happened. Yes, this is a, what I put my notes on here. So this works. This setup works. It's modded fire station and it's modded helicopter pad. Um, they work. Helicopter went for intervention and let me show you what happened. I uh, wanted to explain a little bit more. So this is where, uh, this is the coverage of the helicopter. It can cover almost all the way here and you can see even these houses here on the side, they're covered with hel helicopter uh, fire, uh, fire department, with helicopters, not with road vehicles. Now this is, this is a tricky part where you can see that this uh, cement storage here, it burned down all the way in the testing phase, it's not here. I hope that it's gonna repeat again, I don't mind rebuilding this, but um, it didn't repeat here. So uh, uh, we didn't lose this for a second time. So fire never happened second time here. So what happened is I only saw helicopter going back from here after I saw that it was burned down. Helicopter was going back and I caught him going back. So he never managed to arrive here to put out the fire. So there's several things that could be affecting this because they, he didn't have a ground support. Ground support is obviously much better because probably you need people to take the fire out. And maybe helicopter, because they have a water capacity, this one didn't have enough water capacity to put out the the fire. So I'm assuming that this helicopter um, requires that this helicopter requires uh, several uh, trips there and back in order to put the fire out and just wasn't fast enough in, well, as before mentioned, putting the fire out. Why is this guy now waiting? This is incredible. Why is this guy waiting? Let's see, semaphores, he should be... Ah, oh, I don't actually know if this is a problem, but let's do it like this. There we go. Yeah, probably because... This tells them that this next segment needs to be free and next segment is probably in the opposite direction or something. It doesn't matter. This resolved it. We have these trains with gravel. Oh, this is perfect. We have full full gravel here. That's really nice to see. So we have all the gravel we want. Um, right. Uh, high voltage rail connection. Thanks, Stats, for this. Uh, high voltage rail connection. I actually downloaded this mod. Um, I just need to find where it actually is. Is it under power transformers? Not really. It should be under... Uh, cargo stations? No, I, I, I downloaded uh, railroad power platform station. I downloaded the train uh, high voltage connection, which can, which can get the high voltage power cables connected to the railroads, and it can supply your railroads with a lot of a lot of electricity, much more than we can with the with a medium voltage. But the problem is again uh, realism about the whole thing. I, I said in the comments that probably I'm gonna. St I wanted to say that I'm gonna stick to these ones rather than the other ones, but then 
thinking that we have four different uh, medium voltage power cables going to a power plant or somewhere else it's still creating a lot of issues now the realism about this is that i don't think that these overhead power cables are able to handle 18 megawatts of electricity which is the maximum that we can connect to them uh, you know so we can supply the rest of the grid or or railroad grid with electricity i think they can handle much less because they don't seem huge huge power cables but who am i to judge so for now i think i'm just gonna I'm just gonna use this mod and connect high voltage power cables to this. Uh, okay, that doesn't look wonky at all. Uh, these high voltage power cables, I will use them. And the last thing, uh, I need to apologize to everybody because I'm talking shit about helicopters and uh, I don't have experience with helicopters. I still don't see huge benefit of them uh, and uh, I don't know if I will. I'm just gonna real quickly uh, assign this to footpath office and this one is gonna go for a road construction office so we can expand uh, we can expand this and uh, this is this is finishing my intro for uh, helicopters yes I don't have enough experience of using helicopters I don't know exactly how they work um, I don't I, I shouldn't be talking shit about them because they might be really really useful and good thing to have I just need more experience in using them so I'm gonna say okay I'm starting to use I'm gonna start using construction helicopters right now seriously we're gonna construct a uh, helicopter construction office right now and we're gonna start using helicopters for for constructing this is gonna speed up our construction over here um, which we're gonna focus on these construction offices and probably probably even more construction offices straight away um, but we're gonna go with this railroad uh, sorry helicopter construction office first so I was hoping, because we have a huge area around here, and this city is more or less how I would like to have the capacity-wise, not the building-wise. We will need more uh, workers, so I'm gonna have to work on this a little bit more. We're gonna need more workers for helicopter pads, so I'm probably gonna build that somewhere. And uh, maybe a couple of smaller buildings. We're gonna start on that right now. Okay. Uh, let's check the messages just in case uh, if we can see what's happening here. Okay, uh, I don't know why it's saying stop production. I always get scared that it doesn't have enough oil, but it has enough of everything and it shouldn't be an issue. But that's fine. Uh, every single one of our uh, constructions that are that is slowed down right now, it requires steel to be finished, at least the segments that they are constructing now. Steel is being imported at the moment because our steel production is crap. And for the future, what I learned from now on is that steel is way, way even more important than I thought before because uh, uh, probably that's one of the things that I'm going to be focusing on like straight away after coal oil or whatever i think is the best industry to start with at that point straight away go for the uh for steel production and definitely i learned that these small uh, steel mills even for a small country are not enough um this will not sustain anything you need to have multiple of them they look nice when you build the whole industrial areas like this but i think i won't be using these tiny steel mills anymore nothing personal uh, right, color processing plant I wanted to build here. Wow, that was a useless thing to have. Um, I might give up on this. Actually, you know what? Maybe I won't. Maybe we should go for... Uh, just, just, just have fun with this. Maybe it's gonna work out, maybe it's not. But let's try going for coal ore processing plant. And let's build like this. They can finish this road. It's going to be assigned automatically by the road construction office. And then the building is going to be constructed by the... Uh, by the general construction office and I want to start this helicopter here and just to be fair uh, I will start with the vanilla ones I won't use any modded stuff for this uh, helicopter construction office just so um, I have less reason to complain about it because I'm entering this with a little bit of bias well I'm gonna try to be non-biased but I don't know if that's even possible uh, I'm gonna assume that we're gonna need more than three helicopters for this and I'm gonna assume that we can build uh, let's build it without connections uh, can we build? Okay, let's go with this. Uh, what is this? Helicopter construction office. This is the one. This is the helicopter heliport platform. This is something we're gonna need around here, but I need to find where I'm gonna connect it to. 
helicopter platform. It can be here. It's it's perfectly fine to, for it to be here. It's kind of connected to the rest of the city. Give me without connections like this. And let's just uh, turn off the snapping. Uh, I will build mud road here, and let's build the footpath uh, to here. Let's construct this. Assign footpath to footpath office. Uh, footy, 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 there we go. It's gonna be assigned automatically anyway, and this can be constructed by uh, here. I almost I almost bought it. Uh, this is the construction office none, none, none selected. We're gonna go for general one. It should be assigned automatically, but uh, I think general construction office already has a lot of... Well, it's assigned automatically. It has a lot of constructions uh, happening at the moment. Uh, just this is again. I don't think this is the best thing to do. I still would like to understand how the um, vehicles are communicating with each other. If you assign multiple construction offices to the same site, but I will assign these multiple um, multiple vehicles at the moment. We have concrete and gravel that needs to be delivered, but it's a huge amount, so it definitely will be multiple vehicles. Uh, coming here and delivering delivering this stuff uh, right so this is a passenger terminal obviously it needs to be in range uh, this one is in range it will be in range of some buildings a uh, couple of them even now it looks like it's in range of one building but I will be constructing I'm really sloping the cities ever so slightly downwards in this direction so I will be creating a couple of more residential buildings first I probably should set up the, the other uh, helicopter uh, construction office actually uh, somewhere now this construction office I know that it can have assigned additional helipads and I'm hoping that I can get three more at least so let's try to build this one here and uh, helicopter cargo okay maybe it can't I don't know let, is that that the normal construction office can have additional uh, wait 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 no, 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 this is the one we need. Heliport times three. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Heliport times three, and let's say three additional um, helicopters could be could be enough for this. So we can get something like this in here. I don't know if it creates any pollution. It doesn't say so, but I can't imagine that it doesn't because helicopters are already flying around here. But then technically helicopters are causing pollution and not the heliport itself. So uh, shame on me. Uh, right, so we have this and this being constructed, so this is additional three helicopters, we can do three more if we need to on the other side, but uh, let's start with this first. This is gonna require more infrastructure, because we're gonna have to have a helicopter cargo station like you saw there before, that's the other one that we need to construct, so it needs to have cargo station cargo platform, this is a single one, I'm gonna go for three ones, just because we're gonna need um, and this one doesn't need to be connected to anything, we can, we can build it elsewhere. And I was even hoping to do so, but uh, let's see this. Oh, uh, this would be ideal if we can connect this gravel storage and then this over here to the same uh, heliport. We probably... well, not now, we can't do that right now. Um, maybe we can, it's gonna require a little bit more steel though. Uh, sure, sure, why the hell not? Let's let's do this. Let's level this area over here, and this is where we're gonna create our heliport. I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to do this. Uh, sorry, but uh, we are not at the moment, we're not using this. Um, we're not using this, uh, uh, the, 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 what's I call it, the, um, the conveyor belt. So what I'm gonna build here is a three-way conveyor belt like this. I want to say perfect, but that's... Oh, uh, right. Uh, this is... Oh, this is three inputs, one out, but no, 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 no. Honey, we need the other one. Where's the other one? One out... Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, because... Oh, stupid, you have to assign it to favorites. Why did I have to do that? Uh, let's build it like this. Um, uh, right, right. Hey, yikes. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I know what the problem is. The problem is this one. I had to pause for a second because the... Usually this is, well, oh, it's almost always this This is the problem. Because they start planning these conveyor belts. They start planning conveyor belts while the road is not there. The footpath connecting this, it's not there. But again, this is still not going to be enough for us. So I'm going to have to go either build this heliport, which is uh, which would be ideal if we can build this, um, uh, this heliport. Yeah, 
uh, you can see that this we need to connect does that exit there but this looks like it's not going to be uh, possible uh, what about this single one just just as a test I, I'm pretty sure I don't I need more than a single one here and um, this is just showing us that this uh, it has no chance of connecting the the conveyor belt through here. We need to start removing the roads that we have here. We have this mud road. I see that is being used, but uh, not a lot. I'm gonna still remove it and see if this is gonna change the setup of the helicopters over here. I'm still. Why am I still paused? I have no idea. We don't have to have it paused. Uh, can you build? Okay, so you can see that it can build here. That that's uh, that's um, uh, that's positive because we can always connect more towers i can build more towers and i probably will do that so what we're gonna do now is try to level this terrain to this to this height uh without any connections and let's see if we can build these towers to go in uh, all the way around i'm gonna go for another three in one but this one is gonna be with the roads um, and i'm gonna hope to get this one or can I go all the way oh that would be cool this is cool but this also potentially is not possible so let's see how this is gonna look I'm gonna try it but like I said I'm not optimistic about this uh, where are you now here we go this way and yeah there's there's no way we can put a road around here so um, let's try to be um, Let's demolish this. Let's try to be a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say reasonable, because this is definitely going to be reasonable what we're going to be doing here, but it's going to be expensive and uh, and over the top, but still I'm going to do... Uh, but it's going to look nicer. So I'm going to go like this. Uh, this is normal with with paths, with footpaths. And then I'm going to go for one road one. That would be this one. And let me see if I can rotate. There we go. This is something that I would like to build. But again, 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 we might have an issue with the... We might be issue, have issue with connecting this to our road because you can see that this is in not in ideal position. And this way, there's no way of connecting a road here. But uh, on the other hand, we can r s rotate them. Uh, uh, let's try like this. Let's remove all three of them. And let's try to put the road one, uh, maybe even everywhere, maybe even all of them to be... No, 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 except this one. Uh, I think we can do it. We can pull it off like this. If I try to build a road, um, road off, the road one here. But you have to have the... Let's see this. You can build it with connections, but we're going to have to remove this one here. And let's try to connect it to the other conveyor belt this one here no other way around no okay this one doesn't like it so this is not going to work we have uh, stuff is happening at the moment this is my plan for today uh, to, to be well on the way of constructing this uh, these um, uh, helipads heliport probably even residential buildings here so maybe I should start with this because this can actually be con uh, constructed uh, residential buildings would be under R yeah actually I noticed this myself that um, uh, I <sighs> Humans are repetitive animals. When I get used to residential being around here, when you install other mods, they it's just that convenient and you're just wandering around trying to find what actually what the hell are you even looking for? And this is what's happened to me often, just because I'm a animal. <laughs> <laughs> repetitive uh, one so um, yeah the, what I'm gonna do here is uh, go for a lower buildings uh, these ones here I think I just want to have them feng shui yes looks like they're parallel to each other I'm gonna go for one and the two and uh, all the way three guys congratulations this is the future in the making this is me having a first time ever First time ever railroad construction, uh, helicopter construction office. Why the hell are you not going there now? Oh, this is a gravel one. Uh, why is gravel one not going here? Let me see. Uh, semaphores, chain semaphores. You should be able to get in here because it's telling you... This one is telling you if the after next is free, which is this one, you should be able to get in. But this one is not registering as free. Why is there a red light here? There's nobody in here. This is strange. I have no idea why this is happening. So you can see that here, this guy has a red light uh, going in there. And there's no reason for a red light to be here. 
because there's nothing here. Maybe he was confused for the last time there was... I have no idea. I'll just leave him alone here and see if he's gonna resolve this on its own and uh, if not, I'll just go crazy. Yeah, usual. Footpath office, uh, that's gonna be assigned to this, that's a little bit of population, closer to the heliport, that's also nice, is it connected to the shops, uh, should be here, some amenities are here, hopefully, we'll see, we'll see if we, they're missing something, um, pub tavern, they have it, electronics, they have pub tavern here, oh, they're finished with this road as well. I can go for footpath office and more, uh, this is gonna be footpath office, this is gonna be road construction office, fine. And uh, here we're gonna go and set this for construction with footpath office. Uh, let them construct this, so we're gonna upgrade this to asphalt. Uh, right, 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 right. Uh, they're constructing this, they're constructing this. Uh, this is still not being constructed, fine. Uh, yes, let's resolve this first. Uh, back to mods, uh, we have the conveyor pipe engine, we're gonna go for uh, the road ones first, so this is uh, one in, three out, rotate it towards there, and we had it for a second, uh, can you go and find me again? This road, this one doesn't really have to be connected to anything. I'm fine uh, with this one not being connected, because then we can connect. We can connect it on the other side. This is important. And now the next thing that is important here, I can set it for construction, even though it's not going to be constructed. We have to be able to put the second um, uh, conveyor pipe engine, which it doesn't have to be. It has to be connected to there, and you can see that we have a little bit of a problem connecting this one. Oh, not to here, though. This is interesting. Can you go all the way here? Yeah, it looks like further it goes, it looks like the the legs of the pillars are a bit larger. So, oh. Okay, that was there interesting for a while. Let's see this. Why is it only blinking? There we go. Can, can you build this? Okay, this looks wonky, but uh, if it's wonky and it works, it's not wonky. But this is a footpath office. That doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Uh, that can be like this, like that. Uh, footpath, that's fine. This one, if you can be connected to a road, which I think it can. Uh, you can see that it goes through this. So let's try to make it in the opposite direction. Come on. Come on, you son of a gun. What about he this way? No, this way. There we go. Uh, they can construct this, they can construct this, and they can construct this through here, that's fine. Is everything set up? General construction office, that's fine. Uh, bypass is not needed anymore, we have asphalt roads, we're not gonna go better than this. Uh, we have gravel connected for the helicopters, and we need a storage for helicopters, perfect. So we need uh, this storage, I can go for normal open storage from vanilla, and uh, we can build it, doesn't really matter, around here anyway. We're gonna need a little bit of flat ground, that's gonna be small storage. In this direct, oh, that's not really small. Oh, we have that even smaller one, but does it have industrial connection? I don't remember, the modded one. If we go to storage, and it should be storage, storage. And these ones, they don't have, oh, they have uh, uh, industrial connection. Okay, we can go for, uh, is it going to be enough? This is the question, 150 tons. Let's learn on our mistakes. Let's go, go mistakes. Uh, but if it's, if it's going to be here, maybe we should go for a bigger one anyway. Let's, let's check one more time the vanilla one. How much space do you need? How much space do you need? Eh, not that much. No, no, vanilla one. Vanilla wins. Vanilla wins. Uh, da -da -da -da. Level it to this area. A little bit like this. And vanilla. There we go. Connect it with uh, mud roads. Uh, I think it looks nice over here. Can we plonk it? Wow. There we go. Uh, this is connected, this is connected, all of this can be constructed. Helicopters have gravel, helicopters are gonna have storage. Uh, eh, mechanical electrical components, I think they can... They, can they transfer that? I don't see why not. So I'm gonna assume that yes. 
and I'm gonna go for really small rural storage. That would be something like this. Uh, 72 tons of him, and yeah, the, the bigger one. Here we go, left. Uh, I think this is fine. Fine. Something like this, and then let's see if we can have the... Probably should have had a road cargo station or something connecting to the, connected to the storages, but um, initially, I, like I said, it's like a kind of testing phase or whatever, you know, whatever BS I would like to tell myself to, to sleep better at night. But it's it's um, I don't have uh, I want it to work. This is the the, the first thing I would like it to, to do. I would like it to work, and then after that we can we can focus on on uh, making it nicer. Well, actually, you know what? Look at this. Um, I know, a dumbass. I, I understand. Yes, I am. It happens all the time. Don't worry. So we we can do it like this. Um, if we do it, uh, road cargo station. I can place it in here, and it should be connected to both of these. Uh, if we place it in the right direction, so. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, how could have I done this better if I placed all of them on this direction, in this direction? I can always put this one in a different direction. Uh, nope, it's gonna have to be like this. Okay, that's kind of obvious what needs to be done there. What needs to be done there is this. There we go. This one, and uh, for everybody to be happy, we have a road cargo station, and hopefully we're going to have build something nice here, a little bit more leveling around here, and can we, can we build nice coastal highway? Why the hell not? Do you think we can? Who do you think we are? Of course we can. Let's build a nice coastal highway. And let's snap it now. Snap, 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 and uh, perfect. And now let's try to connect it back to the main road. There we go. And then this can be also upgraded to asphalt. Uh, make this assign it to our road construction office. Perfect. And this can be constructed. Hopefully, we're gonna remember to connect it to the road cargo office. I think it looks like crap, but uh, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? How are we doing steel-wise? This one is still waiting here. I have no idea why this is happening. This guy has to go there as well. So let's see if we can... Uh, can you tell them just to go through? Uh, probably we can't, but let's try this. You know what's the problem? The problem is this one here. I think this semaphore is a problem. This semaphore gave the red light uh, that there's something there. And I just removed it and I'm gonna go for mixed one. I'm gonna place it again. And now it's fine. For some reason now it's fine. This semaphore was giving red light, but I'm not saying that semaphore is at fault. It could be mod, you know, we probably shouldn't be blaming semaphore straight away. But anyway, coffee time for me. This is 37 minutes into this episode. Well, at least in the second segment. I don't really... It's 10, 15, 20, 30, min 30 seconds, um, the first segment. Okay, that's uh, that's it. Uh, construction offices are assigned the, to these ones. This is general ones. 77 tons of steel. Steel is uh, still missing. Do we have any steel over here? Did I make any mistakes with imports of steel? Steel is not being delivered. Okay, is it? Uh, maybe it's being loaded straight away uh, to the trains. Maybe it's not being imported at all. So let's see. Uh, let's check our finances and let's check our imports. So we block this year. Steel, 300 tons of steel. And a lot of it, all of it happened recently. So this month, 220 tons of steel. And month before, 130 tons of steel. Yes, we're importing steel. That's that's kind of obvious. Uh, obviously, we're getting steel, we're importing it, and we're placing it here. And the only reason why we don't have a lot of steel here is 
first of all, all of it is being used. Uh, some of it for this farming that we are trying to finish right now. And some of it is being, well, a lot of it is being transported over here, which is, uh, well, even better because we need a lot of steel over here. Unfortunately, we don't have enough steel over here. You can see that our plastics factory is done, almost. And the pipeline here is not assigned to the general construction office, that's fine. It's gonna require a lot of um, well, materials. And this is the underground one. Underground one is uh, uh, Statsovo general, really? So what's with this general construction office? I think it's, it's uh, I think we, is it overburdened or something? Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely yes. But um, the problem with this is that we have a lack of steel. And uh, now that we're importing steel, we're gonna, it's going to be financially a little bit more expensive. But I don't think we, we care about that at the moment. Uh, logistics is a little bit uh, more, more pressing. That is going to be like a big thing for us. Uh, this part is being finished. This is nice. Uh, everything else seems to be working. Now, tell me, if I'm making any mistakes with this helicopter thing here, um, since my experience is quite limited with this, I think... Yeah, just hit the comment section and let me know. Uh, if I'm not making any mistakes, so praises, praises for for supreme leader or something like that. I'm not. I'm just a gov governor, governor of this area. Okay, uh, cement being delivered. That's fine. Are we taking all the cement? Yes. Uh, th there's a lot of cement here. We we can we can produce all the concrete we want in the world. 150, uh, 1,500 tons of gravel, and we have 500 tons of cement here. That's the one hell of a um, Amount. <laughs> Let's call it amount. Uh, I think we have too much cement, but um, probably this was an overkill. But uh, I hope that this is going to be some kind of central construction office. But I think it's more likely that something here will be central construction office. You can see that we have uh, here. Um, we have here our office finished. I'm gonna not gonna. I'm gonna tell it not to be assigned to anything automatically. Uh, so we're gonna go, turn off the auto search and I'm gonna go all the way up and just buy a couple of vehicles. I'm gonna go for, what did we say here, just excavators, excavators I believe. Um, it's for this, we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need the rest of them as well, so let's go for this one now. It requires five tons of steel, that's fine. I'm gonna go one by one, I'm on to, uh, this one. What, what does this one have in it? This is a small... Since this is already in a lo wrong location, uh, on the wrong side of the railroad, I'm going to start removing them. This is already finished, so I'm going to use this one. This is the road cargo station. Uh, I can demolish this one as well. This one, five tons of... Um, yeah, let's do this. Um, I'm going to remove these. I'm going to leave only this one big one here. Uh, obviously, we're going to be... Because I made a mistake. This is this is the problem. Uh, the problem here is that it's on the opposite side of the railroad, and this is more more likely than not going to see a lot of traffic here. So the best thing uh, to do is not to have a lot of road traffic coming through here. We're going to have um, overpasses here. I'm going to start construction of that now, but um, I would like to have the. Uh, construction offices in a little bit more convenient location. The problem is I have no idea what the hell convenient location is. It should be closer to this area, but unfortunately we have this bridge here that needs to be finished first. So maybe then I can place it here, but then here I'm gonna have all this uh, um, cement, uh, uh, gravel stations and this kind of stuff that needs to be here. So let's do this. Let us uh, let us just buy uh, buy couple of excavators uh, stationary ones so I'm gonna go for two of them and I'm gonna go for two bulldozers uh, I this bulldozers shouldn't be here but uh, currently we don't care we need to we need to finish this uh, what we're gonna build here I'm gonna start on several of these um, overpasses usually mr. Uh, LDZ he taught me this this is not my idea and thank you so much for this how to build really nice overpasses you can my contribution to the whole idea is just that you can actually use the... Uh, you don't have to reconstruct the railroads. He showed me how to reconstruct the railroads as well. So you build a little bit higher ground on both sides of the railroad. Just a little bit. And then uh, don't go too much of it. Just see if, if it's high enough. This definitely doesn't look high enough. But uh, I can test it. So if you go for like top part of this one and top part of this one, you, you see that you can't really construct a bridge. 
but um, maybe you will be able to. For example, we can construct this one, but you can see that the cables are going through the bridge and this is something I don't want to do. So how can you increase this? You can continue doing what you're doing. It's still growing, going up, but slowly. In this case, we have a problem with these uh, roads here. They are not allowing us to raise the terrain any further. So what I'm going to do now is remove some of the roads and you can see now that we have... Uh, here we go. I'm going to go on both sides a little bit and try to raise the terrain even further. This seems to be doing a nice job and let's see how the bridge is going to look right now. We're going to go for some of these bridges over here. Uh, red ones. Yes, why the hell not? Red ones. And I try to make them, you know, look nice and in the middle. You can see here that the cables itself, they don't seem to be going over. Sorry. Um, yeah, they're still going over. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to raise a little bit higher so let's raise it a little bit higher it's just for aesthetics it's not really that important for gameplay or anything like that but it's gonna look nice so let's try to make it look nice uh, at least try at least I will uh, in the long run like uh, having a functional solution to a problem is the best way to resolve a problem but later on, when you have everything resolved, you're going to see that, you know, aesthetics is also, you know, it's it's nice to have pleasing aesthetics. Now, we don't, for example, in this case, um, we don't have to have the um, the the uh, road going, uh, th this is a decent height. Yeah, actually, I, I wanted to explain that even if the r bridge is a little bit lower, as long as you can't see the cables or anything going through it, it's fine. Uh, for example, in this case, if I build a bridge uh, just a little bit over in this direction, and as soon as I cannot see the cables, it's fine with me. It's aesthetically pleasing. But um, I can see that we can actually place it uh, in a proper... Uh, in, in anywhere we want and it's not going to have any aesthetic issues so I'm gonna go and create something that looks nice and this looks like it's a little bit uh, thinking something like this now are the cables going through it it doesn't seem so and there we go so we have uh, we have this bridge uh, maybe I should go and place it in a better direction like uh, just to continue like this. My only problem with this is that um, uh, there are pillars right there and if they're gonna go through the bridge that's gonna look fugly and we don't want fugly. Okay, you know what? It's good enough. It's good enough. I'm gonna set this to be constructed and uh, let's see if we can if we can smooth this out. This even can be smoothed. That's nice. Let's see if we can connect this and if it's going to look nice. Not really. So we're going to go and push the road back a little bit more. And uh, let's try to connect it now. It's going to require some leveling. I expected this. But um, leveling usually makes it looks, look even nicer. So I'm, I'm happy with leveling. Let's remove a couple of segments on this side. And let's try to connect it. And again, it's going to require a little bit of leveling. Um, sometimes when it's your tight on space leveling, the, I, I agree that sometimes can be a little bit too steep incline. Maybe here it's a little bit too steep. But if you have space like we do, you don't really have to uh, overdo it. You can just uh, push it back a little bit more and uh, just remove this part of the road and just build it a little bit longer. Uh, it's going to be nicer, less steep incline, and I think it's going to look a little bit more realistic. So we have this. Now you have dirt underneath there, underneath the bridge. How do you clear the dirt? You just put semaphores in. Put semaphores in and just remove them. It's going to clear the dirt uh, from around it. You can see how it works. It's quite it's, it's simple and um, it's it's effective. So there we go. We have these additional um, additional uh, construction happening here. I want to finish this. Uh, I want to start on another bridge here. How we doing time was? We have 12-ish minutes, uh, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to remove this road. We're gonna have to build some kind of overpass here, and this road is gonna also have to be removed. Let's see if we can do the same thing over here. We're gonna try this time. Uh, so what's the problem with uh, building hill on one side or incline on one side and then on the other? It's really hard to guess how um, how high you can actually build it. 
Yeah, uh, how how are you gonna build it on one side and then on the other side? Because if we do it, for example, like this, I'm gonna show you the bridge can be uh, wonky. One side can be higher, the other one can be lower. And in this case, it's really good if you increase your circle because definitely can do a little bit more work than the small circle. There we go. And let me show you what I mean by bridges not being equal on both sides. So again, we're gonna go with these arc bridges. Um, you can see here that uh, on the right hand side at least looks from here that is a little bit uh, Oh, Look at this. This actually works, but you look at see the cables going through the bridge I want to avoid that the problem on this side is that we can't really build uh, This dirt any higher probably I'm gonna have to remove one of these houses, which is not a problem I have no problem evicting people from our home, from their homes. This is what we do. Oh perfect and your home is part of history. Uh, there we go. And this is going to give us a little bit more space. Uh, and we're going to go and increase height of ground over here as much as we can. These houses probably won't affect anything anymore because to increase this hill here, we're going to need to remove these roads. And I don't want to do that. If we are, if we fail at this, I'm just going to have to find a new solution to, to how to build a bridge over this railroad. For now, I'm going to continue trying this one and see if this is going to work. You can see that this is, this is decent height, but again, cables are still going through the bridge. I don't like that part. And, um, this is this is probably the highest or the best we can do with this height yeah the cables are going through the bridge and i don't like that so we might have to think of a different solution to this um i know i know we can i, I don't like building these i mean like we can build it i'm gonna go just real quickly all the way down how come we have like freaking 15 freaking uh, the, the bulldozers now and, and previously, when I was trying to build this, we didn't have any. Anyway, uh, I know that we can build uh, these one, two, three, and this kind of stuff, and it can work, and all that good stuff, I understand, but I don't like this inclines. It, it doesn't look so realistic. I like the dirt ones better. But maybe we can do... I don't think we can do both. I think we're gonna. Ha I'm going to have to think about this in uh, outside of the box. I think I'm going to have to build either uh, bypass roads away from here or I'm gonna have to go for a tunnel or some kind of different type of bridge um, so potentially I'll have to build a, a second road, road going to this city and then build some kind of crossing over here I don't see how this is gonna resolve anything but still oh actually you know what um, maybe we don't need a bridge over this railroad because a lot of there's not a lot of truck that's gonna be d uh, coming here uh, to this city. Yeah, right. I, I highly doubt it. It's actually gonna be a lot of trucks coming to this city. Uh, right, right, right. What am I missing? Let's see with different bridges if we can make it look any better. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Uh, this is close. This is close. This is not it, but it's really, really close. Uh, let me try this. Let me try with other bridges. What's with this one? Uh, I can see the cable straight away. Uh, what, can I see the cables through this one? Yes, I can see the cables. For some reason, this one is a little bit thicker, or I don't know what to call it. Yeah, I can see the cables going through the bridge. Maybe I'm gonna have to swallow my pride and just let them be. Maybe I should. Maybe... Uh, we'll see how, how it looks when it's finished. And then we're gonna say, good enough. Oh! This, this works, okay. Okay, that's fine. And then let's remove this and make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, or oh, the the there we go the um, the the skyline style open skyline style constructed there we go so we have two bridges we'll see how this is gonna look when it's <laughs> we're not gonna pay attention to that uh, when it's finished we're gonna see how it's looking and let's clear this dirt uh, from here we're gonna go and uh, railroads mixed dirt clear dirt clear come on come on come on Clear dirt. Just per anywhere. Okay, it's not anywhere. It has to be within that segment. So technically, you can do it here. Yeah, a little bit. And then here. There we go. You see how everything is being cleared. And now just to remove all the semaphores. And uh, yeah, we have a little bit of dirt over here. Let's go with this one and this one. All right. You don't like to be on the segments. You need to create cut new. Uh, actually, yeah, this is... 
Obviously, it has limits, this thing the, for clearing the railroads. I don't know if saving and loading will resolve this, but anyway, it's a little bit of dirt on the railroads. I think we can blame somebody else for this. It's our fault. Uh, right, that's it. Uh, we have new... We have new roads being constructed. After this, I'm probably gonna move all these construction offices or construct new construction offices over here, where on one side we're gonna have all these um, cargo stations for materials for, for our construction. And then on the left-hand side, we're gonna have our construction industries. And we're already stealing the precious real estate uh, for the harbor that we're gonna have. But anyway, we have this now, and uh, what's the time? Nine times, six minutes or so we have left. Let's go and put, um, let's, this is again a working title. We're not gonna start on the steel mill straight away. But uh, this is going to be uh, a really, really interesting one. I want to put these railroad entrances to this side. How can I plonk it now? And I couldn't before. So to this side. So uh, we have this. Let's let's try to start at least designing this um, mine, 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 mining area first. So we have these. This is ten tons. How much did we say? Five and a half. I think that was the ones that we wanted to use. Mines that have five and a half. There we go. These ones. So this is uh, iron mine here. These are. This is at least one mine that we're gonna have here. It has a little bit higher productivity than the vanilla one, and um, I think around here I wanted to place one of them. like this and then the second mine we'll see about that later and then we have to have uh, this co this iron ore needs to go to a storage i'm gonna go for vanilla we have the other storages but i think the vanilla will for, uh, work the best in this case that would be large aggregate storage that would be i don't know why the hell not it would be good to have an engine in between but mine will push Mine will push a lot of ore. I don't think we have to have, uh, per se... Um, uh, we don't have to have the, um, the the engine in between storage and the mine. If you guys think we should, let me know in the comment section. We can start conversation on that. But uh, as far as I understand, well, as far as my experience tells me, this is not the most important part, at least not from a mine, because mine has a small capacity and everything over is being pushed further on. Uh, it's the problem for the end buildings that if the storage is, if you have the, for, from storage to, uh, let's say, um, to the uh, processing plant, that would be a big problem. If you don't have the the engine between storage and the processing plant, because then storage has to be filled in first in order to push the resources further on. So what I wanted to go is large aggregate storage. No, you don't need a st uh, what? Oh. I didn't even know we have starred storages. Come on. There we go. We want to involve bulldozers as soon as possible because... Oh, sorry, excavators because they're much, much faster than bulldozers in clearing the area. And then I would like to maybe rotate it back in position or something. This is the original position that we would like to... I don't know, just... I don't know. Feng Shui, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's a stupid idea. Maybe I'm, I'm just... I don't have OCD. I'm not. Uh, I'm not fussy about it. I would just like it to look orderly, a little bit. Probably the German in me saying, "Yep, order, right angles, perfect. Needs to be productive." There we go. Something like this, for example. Let me know what you think. And then we would have processing facilities. I didn't think about this. This was vanilla. Let's just real quickly check what the vanilla capacity of processing facility is. Is um, Since we're talking about uh, iron, we're going to go for iron processing facility. It's 105 tons of iron production. Consumes 225 tons of uh, iron ore. So it's probably going to be... I'm hoping to put it somewhere close between those two because I would like to have it both serviced with the people from here. Um, 
Right. So, but, but this is this is again, like I said, this is vanilla, and uh, maybe maybe around here we can have iron processing, and then another iron storage here, and then steel mill next to it. But heads up, steel mill has huge disadvantages. We should probably talk about it, and let's let's focus on the steel mill in the next episode because I would like it to be all about helicopters and uh, fast expansion. I don't know some BS like that. Um, so uh, we're going to talk about the steel mill in the next one. Steel mill has a Enormous downsides because it doesn't have conveyor belt connections. Everything needs to be brought by trains, which is not a problem. We're gonna have separate train lines going from ore loading facilities into the steel mill. We're gonna have those uh, really powerful slow trains that doesn't really matter what kind of trains, but we're gonna have them delivering ore just next door because the steel mill doesn't have the that doesn't have the uh, conveyor belt connections, but doesn't really matter. It's fine. Let's go for the mods and let's go for um, processing facility would be under factories. And let's waste more time finding out where this coal processing facility is. Wait a minute. So Mr. T, let's do this. There we go. And then we need to go for, let's see if we have anywhere here iron ore, iron ore, we need iron ore, I don't see any iron here. Oh, there was something, that's a steel mill. Uh, that's nothing there. Uh, I think we have some, this is uranium, this is nuclear industries. Here on the top we have another steel mill. I think in the last episode, or last episodes, we did struggle with this, with these processing facilities, uh, and then, there we go, 180, this is a little bit bigger than vanilla, I'm gonna star it, so we have it there, I was thinking of getting these processing facilities for iron ore, we can start with one of them, and then we can move and see if we can, if we wanna get uh, more of them, so something like this maybe. And this is again working title and uh, we will have this conveyor belts moved around a bit because I need an engine in between these conveyor belts. So we can have maybe one processing facility like this. Uh, it doesn't have to be connected to conveyor belts because it's going to have engine in between. So one of them around here. There we go. <laughs> and then one of them a little bit on the left here, uh, just in case for the future development, whatever. We, we, don't, we don't have to go for two of them straight away. We can just go for for uh, con uh, with engine in, uh, in between them, so we can have something like this. Engine supplying here, and then the engine will have additional connections left and right, just in case we need them. So something like this, I was thinking. And then from here, obviously, we don't have long conveyor belts going to the steel mill because we're gonna have to have a loading facility. And then I would build another processing plant potential. We'll see if we need one, and uh, then loading facility for iron around here, which initially probably will be exporting. Well loading facility for trains will be needed for steel mill but also we can go for additional um, uh, conveyor belts going all the way to our port area over here and start exporting uh, the iron with ships let's go real quickly this is a longer episode than expected uh, how is our helicopter units progressing they're progressing nicely they're almost done so hopefully they're gonna be done soon I can see that steel is being sucked away everywhere but anyway let's focus on steel and steel mill in the next one I'm gonna say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this one if you did enjoy it press the like button subscribe notification bell ring it if you want to join our discord channel you have a the link in the description of the video if you want to support the channel you can always buy me a coffee you have a link in the description of the video as well. See you in the next one. Happy Monday. Bye-bye.